Okay, this is the P2 paper from June 2021. This is question number one, which is a sequences and series question. Uh, we're going to be modelling with series here, and it's actually going to be an arithmetic series, but that's part of the answer for uh, A part one. So let's have a look at it. It says, Adina's saving money to buy a computer. She saves uh, £5 in the first week. She saves... £5.25 in the second, £5.50 in the third, and so on and so on and so on. And A part one says, um, uh, what sort of series is it? Well, it's an arithmetic series because there's a common difference of 25 pence each time. So let's just explain that to the examiner. So the answer is arithmetic series. Probably the easiest way to say it is just because there is a common difference and just say what it is, a common difference of £0.25 for each subsequent term. Subsequent term. That's more than enough information to be able to get A part 1 done. A part 2 actually asks, okay, what, what is the nth term for the um, series? So um, nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. a is equal to 5, d is equal to 0 0.25. So the nth term is just going to be 5 plus, well, I'm going to put 0 0.25 n minus 1. Um, if you want to multiply that out, you can. You can just leave it like that. There's, there's no reason why not. But if you want to actually write that as 0.25n and then 5 minus 0.25 will be 4.75. Um, either one will do as the answer. Uh, part B then says, find the number of weeks it will take for Adina to save enough money to buy the computer if the computer costs £350. Okay, so we're going to be using the sum to n terms this time, so B. Um, the sum to n terms of an arithmetic series is given by n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. And what we actually want is for that to equal 350. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get an equation in n. So if I put it in, I'm going to get n over 2. 2a, so 2 lots of 5, plus 0.25 times n minus 1, that's going to equal to 350. So let's just tidy this up. This is going to turn into a, uh, an equation here. Multiply everything by 2. So I'm going to just be left with n on this side. Multiply out the bracket inside as well. So I'm going to get 10 plus a quarter n minus a quarter is equal to 700, so I'm just tidying up the inside there and also multiplying that by my 2. Uh, multiply this all out and tidy it up, so that's going to be um, 10n plus a quarter n squared minus a quarter n is equal to 700, or in other words, 9.75n plus a quarter n squared is equal to um, 700. And now it's just a question of multiplying this all out and tidying it up. Um, multiply everything by four, I would say, just to make it easier in terms of the quadratic formula. So I'm going to get n squared plus 39n minus 2,800 equals naught. And I say uh, use formula because I've already done this. I've already done pre done this question, so I'm not spending any time on this. n is equal to minus 39 plus or minus square root of, and it's 39 squared minus 4 lots of minus 2,800 all over 2. Uh, if we tidy that up, the answer comes out to be, or the positive answer comes out to be n equals 36.89. So at 36.89, we would hit 350. We actually need, obviously, more than 350. 
So we just take the next integer after that. After 37 weeks, um, we will have 350. The negative answer obviously doesn't make any difference. It uh, doesn't make any sense when we're doing the context of the question. Right, hopefully that makes sense for question number one.